During this time of year, in the fall and early winter months, we start seeing a lot of our trees producing the seed and the uh, different pecans and nuts that they have formed throughout the growing season. And we seem to get a lot of questions into our office, into the county extension offices, on first of all, can you collect those seed or nuts and germinate them to grow them into trees of the same parents? And the answer to that is yes, but there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. And one of those is, is to select the parent that is the utmost quality or for the characteristics that you like that particular tree. An example may be a row of trees and one of them in particular has a much brighter, brilliant fall color. So you would want to try to select the seed off of that tree. And there's a couple of things that you need to know about seed to keep in mind in being successful in getting those seed to germinate. And those are two processes called stratification, which means that there is an embryo that is dormant within that seed and it needs a cold period of several months to break that dormancy before it will ever germinate. And the other process is called scarification and that simply means that the seed coat has some kind of protective coating or is very hard and it needs to have a process to break that down so it will germinate. And we're going to talk now about a couple of, or a few examples and give you some ideas on how to do this technique. The first thing that we want to talk about is magnolias. During the late part of um, October, the first of November, you'll see the seed pod will actually start splitting open from where the flower was and you start getting the little red seeds showing up. And what you do is before those seeds dry up or the squirrels and different insects get to them, you would just pick them off and they've got a little white string attached to kind of help them hold on so they'll fall in the same area of that tree and that's just a little mechanism that Mother Nature has. And just put those seeds in some water and soak those seeds for a couple of days. And after you've done that, just take the seed and get a piece of screen and what you're doing is you're just trying to rub off that protective coating and once you do that you'll actually see the seed which is a tan color that comes out of that protective coating. Now on magnolia seeds just as soon as you get that off of there you want to get those planted and we've got a couple of them here that we're going to plant in a flat of soil that's well drained and you go about a half inch deep and just drop the seed right in there and tap it in. And the thing you want to keep in mind is a lot of times you might get some fungal problems and once you experiment with some of these you may know that next year you need to treat those seed or dust them with a fungicide of some kind. But we're going to try our hand first of all without doing it. Then you would just let them get some moisture as the moisture absorbs and they go through a certain period they'll start to germinate for us. Now another one that we want to talk about is called um, is our pine trees and there's a pine nut or pine seed inside this pine cone. And you want to try to get the pine cones before they fall on the ground but as where they're at least mature and as you know in some plants such as pines it may take two to three years before that pine cone will mature. So you need a mature pine cone and the pine nuts or seedlings are right inside the pine cone and the easiest way to get those out is just to put them in a container and shake them around but I've pulled a couple out that I've got here on some tape so they don't blow away and they kind of remind you of a maple seed because they have a little wing on it and the first step that you'd want to do on the pine seedling is to get that wing to wing it or get that wing off that paper material get it down to the seed and then the pine seeds need to have the cold period or the stratification that we talked about. Now there's several ways that you can do this. You can put the seeds in a plastic, a clear plastic bag with some sphagnum peat moss or a Ziploc bag since the seeds are so small or even sand and get plenty of moisture in there and put them in your refrigerator in about temperatures of anywhere from 33 to 41 degrees and that cold period will then cause the seed to break its dormancy and germinate and that may take anywhere from 30 to 120 days depending upon your particular variety. So pine 
cones or the pine seed need stratification once you get the paper removed. Another one that we get a lot of questions on is our oak trees or acorns. And we've got a few right here that have come off of Schumard oak, which is a real good selection of a tree that we can use for our landscape here in Oklahoma. And you've got to beat the squirrels to these again because the squirrels will start digging a hole and burying them right as soon as they hit the ground. But try to collect a healthy acorn, remove the cap, and then you're ready to go. And again, the oak variety depends on whether or not it needs stratification or scarification. But check for any kind of mechanical damage somebody may have stepped on them or they may have broken or you may even see an insect hole because those won't germinate the embryo has already been damaged if it's in the black oak group it needs the cold temperatures that we talked about around 41 degrees if it's in the white oak group you would just plant it again a little bit deeper than we did the magnolia seed because we've got a little larger seed and you can even get the large bur oak such as this one which you'd have to plant in a container, something similar to this, where you could go down about an inch, inch and a half deep. But again, it all depends on whether or not the oak variety is in the white or black oak group. Now, there's only one way to find that out, and that's to know the genus species and to check some different resources or literature information. And if you have problems with that, contact your extension office, and they should be able to help. Now the last thing we want to talk about is the golden rain tree. And these are real beautiful trees again, considered a small to medium sized tree. And this time of year they put out their seed pods. And inside those seed pods you can see is usually one to three seeds. Now the golden rain tree, the seeds are extremely hard. They're almost like marbles. And these would need scarification, and the best recommendation is to soak them in sulfuric acid for a few hours, and that breaks down that hard seed coat that is about the thickness or hardness of a marble, and then put it in your cold stratification process, and then they will germinate in several months as well. So remember, it all boils down to the fact of what kind of plant you have and the variety and you need to determine if it needs the cold process or the scarification to loosen up that seed coat. And there's several ways that you can try that here and we hope you'll have success in germinating your own trees as well. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel and join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.